Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mike from WindowsForum.com. I am seven times certified in information technology and I was awarded the Microsoft Most Valuable Professional Award four years in a row. First, let me start by saying I am all for customer control over their licensed operating system. Windows 10 is a new operating system and quite frankly I am utterly shocked by what I have seen in the privacy options for Microsoft Windows 10. Now using the express settings when you go through the configuration and installation process you may not even notice what's going on here but I will show you right away because it's just it's out of control it's it's uh, you know privacy exemption at its worst uh, I remember one time I don't remember where it was maybe I can't say but I remember Satya Nadella the CEO of Microsoft Corporation saying that they would never turn over customer information without a court order to a huge applause uh, you know I'm not making that up but <laughs> this is true so <clears throat> I'm looking here and I, I, you, I, let's just go to settings, okay? Now, I'm in a custom start menu, so forget about that. But if you, no matter what, you want to go to settings, right? Settings. Here we go. This is the new control panel, whatever. Here we have the privacy setting, okay? Nobody knows what's going on here. I've turned everything off, and I'll explain why, all right? First of all, you have a, uh, you know, it looks innocuous. Let apps use my advertising idea D for experiences across apps. All right. So first of all, now, by default, this is on, by the way, if you use Express Settings. They've given you an advertising ID. Not only do you have a Windows Live ID, but now you're, you're an advertising number as well. They, you know, so uh, they know how to target the ads towards you. And someone said to me, this is like a cookie. Well, you know, you know, this is, this is built into your operating system now. Not much of a cookie for me. Um, and of course, let's use the smart screen filter to check the web content. Now this is supposed to be a security feature, isn't it? Uh, but it's for Windows Store apps. So, you know, what are we doing here? This is a privacy app. What, what is this doing to violate our privacy? Well, it's checking every time you access web content using a Windows Store app. Okay, and it, it's, it's apparently it's reporting it to somebody. Um, then we have, look at this. This is the, this is the one I, I, I love the most. And you may not be able to see it because it's grayed out because I have it permanently removed here. Send Microsoft info about how I write to help improve uh, to help us improve typing and writing in the future. Now, don't get me wrong. If Microsoft is going to reinvent the typewriter, I think that this is a great feature. But if you want to know how I write, what is this all about here? You know, I know that they have this. Uh, analyze your email when you have a phone analyze it so we can predict what you're gonna type a little bit better but this is just crazy okay uh, you know you're on a pro you're on a PC for the most part they want you they want you to send you the information about how you write to them so what does that mean you got a key logger in Windows I didn't say it did I? But you know what? Some other people have said it already. So this is the craziest thing. And the fact that it's on by default, I had to turn it off. It's on by default. I mean, I've never seen such an egregious violation of privacy ever. Okay? Ever. Um, in an operating system. Let websites provide locally relevant contact content by accessing my language list. Well, you know what? I don't use Edge. Websites don't need my website doesn't need to report my language every time. You know, I, it, this is over. So we're done here. You know, and then you know, and then then you have other options in your Windows Live account on the web. You've got even more. But this is built, what's built into the operating system, and that's not all. There's a whole section on privacy, location. I left this one on because I figured it might be a little bit useful. 
I have a track my phone is a tracking device so I might as well allow you know this to be a tracking device as well but let's see here all right I disabled a whole bunch of stuff I, I like Google search everything else I turned off a eh, music alarm clock maybe it needs my location for some reason camera absolutely not search absolutely not you don't need any of this uh, you know so disable all that stuff now this is where it gets creepy camera what apps use my camera all right I'll tell you which apps can use my camera none of them I turn them all off okay because I don't use apps to begin with and if I did you know somebody hit me over the head with a rock and I've got problems all right microphone some apps need to use your microphone in order to work as intended. Now, I understand that. Of course, Edge might need to use your microphone, Google Search, obviously, uh, Windows Voice Recorder. But you know what? Let's, you know, already, they want my keystroke, so I'm going to disable that as well. And if I have a problem, maybe I'll turn it back on someday. Probably not, because the sound stack is working fine. You can hear me right now, can't you? All right, so Windows and Cortana can get to know you better. Stop getting to know me. <laughs> yeah, stop getting to know me, please. Right, thank you. Stop getting to know me. You're a multinational corporation. I don't need you to get to know me. Account info. Let apps access my name, picture, and other account info. Now, this is egregious. You know, this is just egregious. So, I've turned this off right away. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. You know... Uh, contacts. Choose apps that can access contacts. Well, I allow mail to do that, but still. And the calendar, but still. And the shell experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still a little bit iffy there. Calendar, I was okay with that, but still, now they want your everything in your calendar. And you link it up with your, your real calendar, whether you're using some other service. You know, now we have unified calendar. Messaging. Choose apps that can read or send messages. This doesn't exist here, but if you had a phone, you bet it, you bet it would. Radios, same thing. You had a phone, you bet it would work. Other devices. All right. Well, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, phone companion. They want to use. You, this is to sync and make sure all the settings are on the same page. Feedback and diagnostics. Well, they don't let me this is the default full they don't let me turn it off they want my diagnostics and usage data no matter what so I switched it to, I switched it to basic but when you send it full who knows what they're sending you know I don't need that in my life background apps guess what I did ladies and gentlemen let apps run in the background I turned every single one off you know why because they still work maybe not the alarm clock but they still work whether you run them in the background or not. And I don't need all that stuff using up and utilizing my resources running in the background for absolutely no reason. So this is the privacy. But by default, this is all on. All of it. It's all on. Speech, ink, typing, get to know me. Get to know how I type. Know my location. Know everything about me. So, you know, and then there's always someone that says, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. So it's okay. I don't care. If they, if my phone, every message I've ever called someone, every message I've ever made is uh, acceptable, that people can just uh, listen to it and 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 go into it. Uh, you know, why don't you have a camera installed in your bedroom and in your toilet, if that's the case? I mean, you're not doing anything wrong, right? I mean, uh, just uh, you know, install the camera right next to your bed and and one in your toilet bowl. Right, because that's a nonsense argument. You, we know what that's called. It's called BS. That's why you install it in the toilet bowl. So I just wanted to point that out, that you have a nightmare situation with privacy in Windows 10. It's been written up, but I'm showing you now how, where you, at least you have some control where you can disable it. To some extent, you know, obviously, this area, the feedback, never asked me for feedback because you know I'm tired of it. I gave feedback for two three years four years they don't listen send your device data to Microsoft no way to turn it off we can now we got now we're talking about getting into router settings and host file and and delete and, and getting rid of it there 
But uh, yeah, egregious privacy violations in Windows 10 by default, mind you, by default, even on upgrade. So I thought I would make a video about this, how you can protect your privacy. Visit us at all times, whenever you feel like it, windowsforum.com. Windowsforum.com. I guarantee you, we will help you out one way or the other. We have many professionals on there. No one is too inexperienced. No one is too richly experienced or professionally experienced to visit our website. I, and I would love Microsoft. You know, they have people on Twitter all the time. Uh, you know, the release was a nightmare for so many people. Uh, let's just go to Twitter. We have this guy, Gabe All. He's the He was in the Operating Systems Development Group. And, uh, you know, there's a million questions, a million people having problems. He's posting photos of a crop circle of Windows 10. Windows 10 is doing well in the field. Yeah, I agree. It is doing well in the field, in that field only. All right, so, and then, you know, Santa Claus, because, yeah, he's giving stuff away. I'm not just targeting one person. For some reason, Microsoft decided that their strategy would be to put, have all their developers and their, their marketeers go on to Twitter instead of using Microsoft.com and providing relevant information. So, you know, this is just another... It's like a joke, you know. The, the release night, July 29th, July 30th, it was a total nightmare for a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, millions. Oh, 14 million people got it installed. What happened? 20 million or two, uh, two billion? They couldn't install it properly. So yeah, there you go. Uh, so I just thought I'd alert you to this privacy problems in Windows 10. Disable all this stuff if you're smart. If you don't care, uh, you know. You're a commodity to be sold. So have a nice day. Windowsforum.com, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Farah will take care of you. Take it easy. Unbelievable.